Ready? Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the middle, middle of the, of the world. world. <laughs> I said world. <laughs> Good morning. Today we are going to the Mitad del Mundo Monument. This is where the equator line sits in Ecuador. This is one of the more touristy things we're going to do while we're here in Quito. So we're going to find out whether this lives up to the hype. Got our tickets. Five bucks each and there's nobody here. So we arrived shortly after it opened at nine o'clock and it's awesome. Maybe it's due to COVID, maybe because we arrived early, but there is pretty much no one here. So that's, that's awesome. Us. We are planning on flying our drone here and actually you have to get it registered when you come in. They asked us whether it was for personal or for commercial use. And because we're using it just for YouTube or for our own personal reasons, it's obviously just personal. If it was for commercial, then I believe you have to pay some sort of tax or some sort of um, fee just to get it registered as well. So just for your own information, if you wanna fly a drone here, you have to get it registered. And, registered. and yeah. you need your uh, your passport or a copy of your passport to That's be able to right. register it. So make sure you take that with you here. It's really important. They ask for your ID a lot of places. Yeah. So we're going to throw it up and let's see what it looks like. So we're here at latitude 000, but the irony is that apparently this isn't actually 000 if you look on GPS. So that's kind of ironic. Okay, so now that we've done all our classic touristy pictures on this line, <laughs> we're actually gonna climb all the way up to the top. So we're walking up all the flights of stairs to the very top, and there's kind of like a museum as you go. There's all sorts of different things to look at and history about Ecuador. Okay, we made it to the top of the statue. Beautiful views from up here. You can see the whole town. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, managed to fly the drone for a little bit, got a little bit scared for a little bit, but it's all good. So at this place, there's like a full on town here with all these different restaurants and little shops but it's a little bit weird a because there's nobody here so it's kind of like a weird little ghost sound but b kind of has like a german theme everything's really white kind of looks like we're in a little german town somewhere yeah, it doesn't really feel like we're in ecuador which is weird because we're right on the equator line in which ecuador is named so. yeah weird Interesting. Before? Or? No. no. I know they are pets in your country, but yeah. <laughs> in our country uh, they are pets too, but it's also part of our culture too. Right, eat. yeah. And it's very delicious. <laughs> okay. Oh, like it looks, it looks and smells very good. What yeah. sauce is on it? It's only a red seed that okay. we put it to give the red color. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so that was a little bit weird. <laughs> Seeing guinea pigs roasted over a spit. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I will have to try that sometime, I think. Okay, so we just finished up at Mitad del Mundo and I would say that it definitely lived up to the hype. Yeah, it was more fun than I expected actually. And there's a lot to do there, a Usually, lot of restaurants. Usually we're not too big on tourist traps, 
yeah. and these types of things, but it was actually quite nice and maybe that has something to do with how few people were there. Yeah, that was awesome. But yeah, I would say that it was a it was a cool experience, lots of things to do and lots of things to learn really about Ecuador as well. So yeah. and now we're just uh, walking to a different place that maybe supposedly more on the equator line. But this place is supposed to be a museum that has more interactive, like, I don't know, Mythbuster things. So we're gonna walk there and hope it's fun. Let's go. This is it. It looks way different than the other one. <laughs> it almost looks like we're not even supposed to be going here. I like it. Oh, look at the heads. We made it to Museo Intignan but it kind of looks as though this isn't the right spot. It's almost in like this weird backyard of someone's house and there's really no one else here by the looks of it. So we're gonna go check it out and if it's the right thing then great, but if it's not, we're gonna have to keep looking. We out here. It's a butt. Woo! Touched it. Nice booty. All right, let's move on. I don't need you anymore. I found a new friend, a new husband. Ecuador man. Woo. I don't blame you. Oh, he's good looking. Look at him. You don't wear clothes like that. Seems like the kind of guy that would walk the line. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, we found the actual entrance to this place. Turns out the reason there was no people on the other side is because that was the back entrance. So we got navigated to the front and now we're going to try again. So this is actually apparently the more accurate equator line. It's about 300 meters away from the Mitad del Mundo uh, monument. But apparently it's still 90 meters off of the actual equator. Supposedly you can still do all of the um, experiments here for the equator, but so, so we're, we're gonna, gonna practice putting an egg upside down on its head, see if we can balance it. The water's supposed to go different directions depending on what side you're on. So there's a lot of fun activities, hopefully. Hola, Lama. <laughs> Lama. Please be my friend. <laughs> okay, we're hanging out here with our new friends, Gladys and Kenny. Woo! We are traveling the world, so make sure you check out our channel at Gladys and Kenny. And I'm pretty sure you will enjoy the adventure. <laughs> They're well, super fun to hang out with, so make sure to follow the videos. We'll put their link down below so you can subscribe to them. Aw, thanks, Sarah! Yeah. Woo! Ecuador! Woo! Okay, so we just finished off part of the tour that was talking more about the historical side of Ecuador and the indigenous peoples as well. Yeah, we learned about a lot of things. We also learned about a bunch of animals that are in the Amazon and got to see a bunch of snake skins, yeah, huge, huge, cool. four meter long snake skins, a bunch of spiders, yeah. other fish that live in the Amazon River. And yeah, we just learned about, we got to go through a little hut and learn about the Amazon people. And it was very cool, very informative. Very informative. And now we're gonna get to the part where we do the experiments with the egg and with the water. So let's go. Yeah. Okay, so our first activity is we're gonna see how the Coriolis effect has uh, an effect on the water spinning in the north and the south of the equator. Oh! Okay, 
guys, look at it, look at the surface. Look at that, look at that. Can you see? Yeah, that was And the water cool. is spinning yeah, just a little, little yeah, bit, okay? Little but bit, the lip yeah. falls straight, okay? Yes. Thank you so much. That was counterclockwise again. Very good. Nice. Go! And you pull the lips again. Oh, it's going clockwise. clockwise. Holy cow, that's crazy. Woo! <laughs> that's crazy, man. Now we're going to try our hand at balancing the egg. We'll see how this goes. Apparently, because the, the gravity is less here, that the egg is, you can balance it here easier than if you could balance it other places in the earth. Let's see how that goes. And we're bouncing it on its head on a nail, so. All right, guys, all the way down there. There you go. What you gonna do? Yeah, right. Look at that concentration. Come on, come on, come on. Secret. The lines. <laughs> like you said, it's I'm tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Tall. Okay. I don't know. Your turn. Stretch. Woman power. Woman don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Gotta get ready. Let's right, see it, sir. <laughs> She's gonna do that in one All second. Right. This is crazy. Okay. You need that fast. You need Okay. Eggs off, by the way. Eggs off. We got our egg certificates. Because we balanced the egg at the equator. Egg masters. Woo woo. Okay, the egg was super fun. Eric had a little more trouble than I did, but we did both balance it on the egg. Uh, I mean, the egg on the nail. So that was super fun. And it was kind of weird because you had to really squat almost and balance your legs and your arms so everything was really firm so that you didn't weren't shaking or anything and you had to look at the line in the rock <laughs> to see exactly where the equator line is to be able to focus it and balance it on its head on the nail so that was really fun all right there's one more challenge we get to do we're gonna walk in a straight line on the equator and we're supposed to close our eyes and walk foot by foot so that your feet are touching as you step with your eyes closed, your arms up, your chin up, and it's supposed to be very difficult. So we're gonna see how that goes for us. It's basically a sobriety test. Yeah, <laughs> that's what our tour guide told us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> arms down, chin up. Sobriety test. Yeah, very right. good. Chin up, chin up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's you really, it's it. really hard, guys. <laughs> Don't do that. Hey, Eric, how many beers you guys have? Okay? I'm way too many at lunch. <laughs> Eric, get a job, Eric. Yeah. Nice. That's why you're thinking anyway, right? <laughs> get them stretches in. Now it's all over one, okay? It's no real time. You're gonna feel cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the stretches. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stretch it when I go back. <laughs> what the hell? I have really bad balance too, so we'll okay. see. Yeah, you said that about the egg. Okay. <laughs> Put your head up. Chin up. Chin up. I'm smiling. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> speaking, man. I see her. Oh, oh, I see she's speaking. No, nope. oh. not at all. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's you gotta catch each other. Oh my god! Woo! Alright, 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 alright. Go! You better, cause he's right on you. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha!
Eric? Let me see who that would be. Okay, so that was a little more difficult than we thought it would be. <laughs> Apparently, if you have your hands up, it helps you balance on the equator, but I honestly, I almost fell over like three or four times. It was so hard. We managed to stay on the line, but... I feel like I was only on the line because I could kind of feel where the paint yeah, was exactly. a little different than the cement, <laughs> but it was actually very hard to not fall over. Yeah. I was shocked by that. Very shocked. Okay, so we're here at Museo Intignan and we have this wonderful tour guide here. Oh, <laughs> guys, okay. It was a pleasure, okay, thanks for coming. And well, my friends, what? welcome back to the Latitude 000, okay? Thank you, and your name is? <laughs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Very we good. highly recommend coming and getting a tour with him. He was <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very good. We highly recommend going to Metad del Mundo. I always say that wrong, but it was very cool. The statue was super cool, but this is way cooler. It just is way more nature. It just feels like you're outside and it's more natural. Our tour guide has been unreal and it's just a lot more fun, a lot more interactive. We're learning about Ecuador because we have a free guide and we're just getting to experiment different things on the equator line. So we're having a blast and I would say this is definitely not overrated for sure come here and yeah it's awesome okay guys so that's the end of our kind of mitad del mundo adventure here in ecuador and i would definitely say that the mitad del mundo monument was worth the hype definitely but i would almost say that this overshadows that absolutely so definitely come to Museo Intignan and get a free tour and check out all the different experiments. It's very cool. It's so fun. We had so much fun today. I'm pumped. I want to come here again because <laughs> I just feel like I could even learn more from our tour. Yeah. And I want to try all the activities again. It totally. was so, so fun. We had so much, yeah, so much fun laughing and just had a great time. Highly recommend. And it's just cool to be on the equator. Yeah, so if you haven't already, just please give us a subscribe and like this video. Maybe throw down a comment if you have some either suggestions or even just want to say, hey, what's up? Uh, just leave a comment. Yeah, let us know if you've been here before. Yeah. You've been to the equator here or maybe somewhere else. We'd love to read about your experiences. Sorry, look at this guy's butt. This place is a lot of bums. I don't know, it's a thing.